All right, this one's gonna be on Tmux copy mode for Tmux 2.4 uh, or higher. I mean, it'll work with uh, the older Tmux version also because uh, we're gonna use a kind of like an if statement to figure out which version that we're using, and it'll auto load the correct uh, syntax or the re correct uh, configurations for Tmux to use. All right, uh, so that's what we're gonna do here. So first, we're gonna use this uh, run shell command. And this one will detect which version of Tmux uh, that you're currently using. And then from there, we're going to use the if shell command. And this one will detect, uh, well, it will, it will based on the first command, it will actually say if you're using, uh, you know, Tmux 2.4 or higher. And then it'll load uh, these uh, hotkeys. You can add more if you like, but, um, you know, this one is mainly for copy mode. Uh, and if it detects that is uh, a Tmux version uh, that's uh, 2.3 uh, equal to 2.3 or lower, then you know it'll it'll load the proper syntax or the key binding in this case for the copy mode uh, that we want to use. So by default, I think uh, you know, when you're using copy mode in Tmux, I use like Emacs hotkeys. But if you want to use Vim style, you have to uh, enable it. You know, it's just called VI here, right? So this is how you enable it and everything. Uh, the way that I like to go into copy mode, I like to use escape. So prefix and escape will go into copy mode. So let's do that right now here. My prefix key is uh, control A and then escape is, you know, we're going to copy mode. So you can see at the top here, they have this little yellow shit here. That's how we know we're in um, copy mode, right? And to enter or to exit copy mode, you just hit Q and then you exit the copy mode. So prefix and escape to enter it, Q to uh, you know uh, get get out of it. Uh, next thing is if you want to paste, is P. So prefix and P. Capital P here. This is your choose buffer. That's like your Tmux clipboard history. And this one is to delete from it. Uh, I'll show you those in a minute here. But let's get to the important parts. So, uh, when you're loading up, um, what was that one here? So, when you set it to use your Vim hotkeys in Tmux, uh, it actually doesn't use, I'll say, uh, all the styles that we're used to when we're using Vim. So, they use like a different hotkey for, um, this one is basically your visual mode. So, V here, uh, was that shift and V here? This one is for a visual line. And control V here. This one's for your visual block. In this case, they call it a rectangular toggle. Uh, this other stuff is just mainly for uh, collapsing trees and stuff like that. It's not important for this uh, video. And if you want to do, uh, if you want to use your mouse to copy, then you could too. But you have to enable your mouse mode to use this part portion. Um, and so as far as for yanking, you can just use Y to yank. Now the good thing about this one is uh, I actually just learned this one here. But if you set it like this, uh, it will actually copy it to your Tmux uh, clipboard. So Tmux has its own clipboard. And then if you want to copy into your GUI or your X server clipboard, you can actually uh, run an external command. So this external command here, we're using Xclip and it'll send it to our clipboard. So it does two things. It'll send it to your, um, uh, well, basically it'll send it to, you know, your Tmux uh, copy um, buffer. I don't know what you, what you call it, but Tmux uh, clipboard history and also your GUI X server um, clipboard, right? Using this uh, X clip command here. So that's what I like about that. It does two jobs in one, and um, that solves the issue of if you want to copy it to your Tmux or or your X server, uh, it'll do both in one go. So that's what that's I like about that. Um, same thing down here. You know, all these other commands are. Pretty much the same thing, but uh, it's for the older Tmux version, right? Uh, so how you use this, uh, I'll explain this here. So we're gonna do visual mode, visual line, and then visual block here, right? So if you want to enter in copy mode, we do um, in my case Control A, Escape here, and that's how you're in uh, copy mode. Now if you want to enter uh, visual, um, what was that visual? Um, or they call this one begin selection. So this is your visual mode, you hit V, right? And now you can see that we're in visual mode, right? And let's escape out of that here. 
if you want to uh, what is that go into visual um, line you do shift and V and this is your visual line now the third one here this one's a little bit weird but if you just hit control V it doesn't actually work so let me show you an example here so if I hit um, <clears throat> control V here right it doesn't do nothing right that's because you actually hit uh, you have to go into visual mode first and then you hit go into uh, visual block so you have to hit V now we're in visual mode here well let's do that again here so I can explain you what I'm talking about so you have to hit V first right and this will get you in your visual mode but you see it's not visual um, block right it's, it's not a block right now this is just still your visual mode you actually have to hit uh, was that control um, V here and now we're in uh, visual block so now it does a block of um, you know stuff here right so that's how you do that uh, let's just cancel all that here other things you can do let's see what else you can do here oh yeah if you want to yank it so let's say if we're in a visual block here or I mean visual line here and if I want to yank it I hit Y and now it's in my um, paste buffer I believe so let's get Q out of this so if now if I want to check that you know line I just copy it's in my uh, tmux history I can do uh, what was that one here this one here uh, it's called the choose buffer aka your uh, tmux clipboard history so if I do prefix capital P so this is the line that we just copy right the first one here when it says zero up top uh, so that's what we just copy and you know whenever you want to copy in here let's say for example let's do that again here oops I hit a wrong one the hell I mess it up there we go we're back here but uh, let's say for example I want to do a visual block here if I did it right so this is a visual block so we'll just copy this portion here and we hit Y and now we should be able to see it here so this is what we just copy it's kind of weird because it's in a block but uh, that's how you access your tmux um, you know clipboard history pretty much it really I mean it's not that hard if you want to delete something you can do um, was that the plus sign here to delete the buffer so anything that's in the first uh, where it says zero here right it was this one you know the shit that we just copy if you want to delete that you do uh, prefix and plus and now if we check it again uh, that line was deleted so let's do it again here was that uh, prefix and the plus sign and we'll delete uh, you know uh, the last thing that was in our uh, in our history right so that's how you clear that if you want to delete uh, you know anything from your tmux uh, history oh yeah and the thing I forgot to talk about was this one here this one is the mouse dragging thing uh, right now we're not in uh, yeah you see it doesn't work right now if I'm using my mouse to drag but if you enable our um, was it our mouse was that uh, mouse mode I mean so let's enable mouse mode here so you can see here mouse mode is on you see at the bottom here it says mouse mode is on so now if I select it it'll just copy it it'll just copy all this as, as, as soon as I let go of my mouse it'll copy it right and I like doing this because um, uh, I think the default way is after you let it go, it will actually copy it and it will exit uh, copy mode. I don't like exiting copy mode. If I want to exit it, I'll just hit Q and it'll you know exit it um, manually like I do it. Otherwise, it will automatically uh, cancel it uh, the old way, and I don't like that. So now, if I just keep copying all this stuff, it will actually be in my um, what is that my uh, history. So you can check everything that we copied um, should be in here right so here we go just copy this done copy this done copy it again done and now we should be able to have all that stuff that we just copy in here right so on and so forth uh, that's pretty much it for that and this one's pretty old too but um, I guess it's still useful so if you ever want it um, well, this was the way I did it back in the days because I didn't know about these uh, other commands here, like this one, to yank it into uh, clipboards at the same time. 
So back in the days, I would actually send whatever's in my uh, Tmux uh, clipboard history to the GUI, and that's how it would uh, be in the GUI. So if I did that was a prefix and greater than sign, I'll say copy to system clipboard. So send uh, whatever's in your Tmux, um, you know, thing here. It'll actually send it to your um, GUI, and I can paste it in here. Let me see here. Let's open some stuff. Like open mouse pad or something, right? And I can paste in here. Um, that's how I did it back in the days, but I uh, don't do that anymore. Um, now, this other one's kind of useful, I guess, because uh, if you ever want to copy uh, stuff from your GUI into Tmux, uh, this one is still useful, I'll say. So, for example, let's open a, um, a web browser or something. All right. Uh, let's go to game deals. So, for example, if I want to copy, uh, what the hell is in here? Let's click on one of these suckers. Oops, that's not it. I don't want to click on this, do I? Uh, let's say you go into the comments, right? So, for example, if I want to copy one of this, uh, and I want to send this to Tmux, uh, I would just do prefix and then lesser in sign here, this one here, right? So I do a prefix and then lesser than sign. And I'll say copy to Tmux clipboard, right? So basically whatever I just copy uh, using GUI here, it'll actually show up uh, in here, I believe. Where the hell was that? Let's do it again. I think I messed it up. Here we go. Let's copy this. Copy. And now I do boop. And it should be in my paste buffer. There you go. Right, there you go. You can see that that's what we just copy in our GUI here. So anything you copy, let's say it was at regular prices, blah, blah, blah. And now if I do send that to your Tmux clipboard, uh, it should show up in here. See that? It says regular prices of blah, blah, blah. You get the idea from that. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. If you ever want to use a copy mode and you need to fix some of the... Um, Vim hotkeys because by default they're using some other goofy shit. But if you want to go back to you know uh, V capital V and control V to do uh, visual mode, visual line, visual block, uh, yanking and stuff like that. Anywho, hopefully uh, you understood all that. Link will be in the description for the notes and you just copy paste and you should be good to go. Make sure you reload your Tmux configurations right once you're done. Uh, you might have to like exit everything out of your Tmux too if you want to completely reload it. But anyways, that's it for our configurations and everything.